a very quick little a side story. I'm going to say it took place ten years ago, maybe. I had to have cataract operations, and uh, they do one eye at a time. And then I have, had a patch over that eye, and I had I had an opportunity to go back over to the studio, and there was a painting on this wall that I had done, finished it only days before the operation, and I walked in and looked at it and took the patch off the, the, now op, the now corrected eye, closed the other one and looked at the painting with the one good eye and oh, well, I can't tell you exactly what I said because it, you, you wouldn't be able to print it but, it, but I was, wow, that's what other people are seeing because it was different. It didn't look like the painting I knew or that I had followed as as it progressed um, and that one little turnaround that one and and the second eye uh, may have been also a factor I mean it does sort of go to show you that every once in a while isn't the, the factor in your art creativity you're you're not expecting it nor did you call for it and uh, because that was purely needed eye operation, you know, and, uh, but it allowed me to keep going and keep going and keep going and still am. Well, yeah, that's the, they say it's not the destination, it's the journey, so. Uh, Absolutely. However, the finished painting, and I can look at that and say, yes, it's finished. And every once in a while, as I've been sitting here talking to you and looking up at it, there is a place in that painting that I'm not pleased with. That painting, that painting's about three months old. And there's a spot in it that I'm not terribly fond of. And I would bet that soon after you and I finish talking, later this week probably, I'll bet I doctor it just slightly. Because, and one of the teachings I recall was when I was told don't let the conscious mind enter the painting and I've had I've wanted to argue about that for a long time um, how, how, how do I function without a conscious mind but I do understand what it meant and it does it is a factor the conscious mind I'm not saying to myself, I would like to create this or that. That painting didn't start out with anything that was going to end up looking like that. It just tubes of oil paint in my fingers and hands. I, I paint with gloves, the rubber gloves. Um, when did you start painting with your fingers? Off and on, maybe as much as ten years ago, ten, eight or ten years ago, and then I would go back to the brushes and uh, um, spatulas and things like that, you know. Uh, um, but when I found out, I mean, if you think, if it, as, as, as looking at that painting, that one, that one, whatever, they're all around the same time. You have to try to imagine, wow, what it must have felt like to take a tube of oil paint, good sized tube of oil paint I might add, and squeeze it someplace on the canvas, any place, starting place, who knows, or squeeze it in my hand on the gloves and go, and then just, and it became so, enjoyable to taste that paint as it's applied straight from my hands um, and I, it, it had every once in a while I pick up a brush to get a kind of conscious mind you see that uh, to, uh, that doesn't happen to be one of them but there are there are others where you can almost see some uh, brush strokes now and then boy and I have enjoyed the journey. I'm, I'm glad you've asked me these questions. It gets me to 
I can talk about my journey again. <laughs> Why not? Oh, well, yeah. yeah. It's worth it. The journey is what it is, and it's a huge part of who I am or what I am, perhaps. There's a lot of them around here, m many more than uh, I would wish. They, I have been told by a number of people you know, that there's a solution to this inventory you've got all around the place. It's called sales. <laughs> well, okay, we'll work at that later. Yeah. Boy, it's been fun. And I smile. And that's one of the things I, I wrote down in, one, in my little book where I write down things that I have experienced. It was fun, and I smiled. That's a that's a valuable thing to be able to say, yeah. particularly when it's something as personal as 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 oil paintings or any other kind of paintings. You're definitely in a fun part of your journey. Absolutely. I, uh, I I don't mean to keep going back to the Ireland ones, but when you came back, you were like the weight of the peak, the weight of the peak, and I know the the stuff from the the Middle East wars was. Uh, Definitely, I don't know if it was as fun, but you, were, you seemed to be having fun, but it was a kind of an angry fun or a ventilation. Yes, many of the, uh, those paintings from that period of time, and it did trans uh, transfer from one period of my life to others, but it's, uh, those are serious times. Yeah. Not the same kind of seriousness that this doesn't have. Aha, uh -huh. there's a good sentence. Yeah. <laughs> it's a whole different, because there I knew that there was something driving my need to paint, and I knew what I hoped I was getting across, what messages. One of the other things that, that took place in Ireland, and I'm sure you are aware of it, is the, the very dark paintings. Yeah. I did some, I mean, by the time I was leaving there, I was doing what I spoke of earlier, it's called the white paintings. But early on, um, I was led into uh, the, 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 the people who dug peat, who put peat in their, in their stoves to heat their house, and then seeing bogs of peat all over all over that part of Ireland and realizing that they um, there's another whole side to this these people and it's underneath there it's you're treading on it or walking around where it's been dug and I just this second remembered that where we lived in cottage number four it was a small stove in the living room and it was heated with peat. And they brought the peat and put it, stacked it up in the back of cottage number four. And I would go out and get it and start, start the, the fire. And, wow, look at that. I'm living with a peat moss fire. Ha ha, Who, who'd have thought it? But the paintings started to, uh, it's almost as if they were moving underground. Yeah. But underground and then with a a band of of daylight. It was almost they were almost like black and white paintings in, in two large stripes. But pretty clear it was a sometimes you see little the rooftops of houses in them for, and every once in a while in them. Um, yeah the one we have are vertical brown, dark, dark brown stripes with some scraggly stuff on the top and very dark blacks. And that and that was that was dri driven by the by the peat that's underneath the that on which they walk, in some cases, yeah. Once again, it was fun, I smiled. <laughs> yeah, I did. Every once in a while I don't smile, I cry, but, uh, but mostly when it comes to my paintings, it's, uh, it's the message is there, the statement's there, and the journey for me. I hope everybody else has their own journey. And I hope they smile. <laughs> it would be nice.